Welcome to FreshMaya.com. My name is Eric, and I'm going to share a little bit about a feature in Maya that's new to 2009 called the Tweak feature. It's something that probably, again, a lot of people aren't aware of, but it can really speed up the modeling process, especially when it comes to adjusting vertices and control vertices and such uh, like that, faces, edges. I have a curve here that I just created, just a simple curve, uh, EP curve, and let's say we were going to make a vase. But let's say we didn't like the shape of it and we wanted to adjust the control vertices. So I'm just going to right click, select control vertex. And now to start tweaking this, what I have to do is uh, use my move tool. I have to first click on a, a vert and then I can click to move it to where I want it. So, I mean, it works great, but there's a, a way that's a little bit faster. So instead of having to double click on everything, you can just single click, which means less clicks equals faster uh, modeling. Now the way you do this is you're going to press and hold down the Graves key on your keyboard. That key is the same thing as the tilde key. It is on my keyboard next to the number one and my tab key. Uh, the button has two symbols on it, the top symbol being the tilde and the bottom symbol being the Graves. Now I'm not going to press and hold down Alt, Control, or Shift. All I'm going to do is press down that Graves key or as some people know it, the tilde key and now with it pressed down I can single click and start adjusting these vertices so I can easily come in here and instead of having to click everything once I can just single click so let's kinda get a shape here that I might be happy with and then once you get adjusted now we come in here and do our revolve and I forgot to reset my settings. Let's go in the channel box, start sweep zero, and we don't want it to rotate around the X, so I'll change X eight X to zero, and I want it to go around Y, so let's change that to one. Alright, and there's our vase. So pretty easy. Um, you can do the same thing with objects and other components like faces and edges. So let me go and delete all this. Let me create a, just kind of zoom in on this. I'm going to go to vertice select mode. Again, I'm going to press and hold down the tilde button. And now I can just single click and I can start just grabbing and moving vertices without having to click uh, click them twice. I can do the same thing to edges. And you can do the same thing with faces. Press and hold down the tilde button. And now I can just start grabbing faces and adjusting it how I want. You can also do it with objects. So if we had a bunch of objects, I'll go to a top view here and just kind of start making a bunch of stuff. Smooth shade. Press and hold down the Graves button. And now I can just single click and start dragging things around. So it really makes selecting and moving components and objects uh, much easier. So maybe if you created a bunch of furniture or you were modeling for a living room or something, you could easily come in here and start moving stuff around a little bit quicker than you normally would. And that's pretty much it. Um, you can access it another way by just going to your Move tool. So if I double click over here in my toolbox on the Move tool, or you can go up to your Modify, Transformation Tools, Move tool, Options box. Either way, it'll get you to the same place. And if you look in the settings, about halfway down you'll see, or maybe not quite halfway down, but you'll see tweak mode. So if you check that, now you are you don't have to hold down the graves button. So now you can just single click. And that's it. Thanks for watching.